Let's take a closer look at keyframes. Keyframes are used in the animation timeline to create the change or animation that occurs between two keyframes with different values. If the concept of keyframes is new to you, then it's probably helpful to understand where the word keyframe comes from. An animation is a technique or method where many pictures or drawings are created to give a sense of motion. And when a traditional animation was created, the lead or key artist would draw the main or key frames of the movements. And then a team of artists or in-betweeners would draw the frames in between those points to create the full movement. Keyframes work the same here. We need at least two keyframes for the basic animation, one that defines the start position of the movement, and one to define the end of that movement. Then frames are created in between to create the motion. In Peno 2 VR, there are two kinds of keyframes to choose from, normal and magic. Magic keyframes are added at a constant speed. The default speed is 20 degrees per second and can be changed here. And this means the speed, and hence the length at which the animation happens, is calculated for you. Normal keyframes don't add any magic or take speed into account. And when you add them using these buttons, you're adding keyframes with the current view at the location of the playhead. And notice that when you add magic or normal keyframes, you're adding a keyframe for each parameter. You can add a keyframe for a single parameter by clicking here or by double clicking in the track. Projection keyframes act a little differently, and they aren't really keyframes. Rather, they are areas of change. A projection change happens over time, and this yellow block shows the time it takes to change to the projection. This red warning is just to tell you that the parameter is now falling out of the viewing parameters. To fix it, just adjust the projection keyframe. You can manually add a projection keyframe by double-clicking in the projection track. And then you can choose what type of projection to change to and add additional keyframes to get the framing you want. Now let's go over the types of keyframes. Right-click a keyframe to pick a keyframe type. These determine the movement of the animation. And they can be used to speed up or slow down or pause the animation. The starting keyframe is a linear keyframe, so there aren't any slopes to it. So the movements happening here are linear without acceleration or deceleration. When a keyframe is added after the starting keyframe, it'll be a continuous Bezier keyframe by default, and it'll have slopes on both sides. And the movement will move through the keyframe in a straight line. It has handles so you can control the slope to affect the ease and speed of the motion surrounding the keyframe. A Bezier keyframe also has handles, but the keyframe acts like a corner and the movement through the keyframe can be harsh or sudden. And a hold keyframe will hold a keyframe's value until the next value comes, and it'll have a steep change, like it's jumping to the next value. Keyframes are the heart of the animation, so of course you also have a few ways to tweak them to get the motion exactly how you want it. In a keyframes context menu, you'll see this option, which will even out or smooth the existing slopes. Another option in the context menu is stretch keyframes. This lets you shorten or lengthen the time between those keyframes. To activate this option, first select a range of keyframes, and then select stretch keyframes from the context menu. In the dialog, you can shorten the time, for example, by changing this to 50%, or lengthen it by setting this to 150%. You can also stretch keyframes by selecting them, 
and holding down the Alt or Option key while dragging the end set. 